everybody should be accountable to somebody. And if you're finding that that isn't the case in your life, we need to fix that. So in today's video, we are going to talk about three levels of accountability that everyone should have. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, today's topic is all about accountability. And if you don't know what accountability is, it's simply the obligation or the willingness to take accountability. And this topic goes right in alignment with our anonymous question that just came in in a segment that I love to call Dear Keandra. Dear Keandra, I've always been the person who can do whatever they want when they want it. I never had to take responsibility for my actions, but as I am getting older, I am finding that I want to take more accountability. Can you please give me some steps on how to do that? Any advice would be helpful. So first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to write in. If you are someone who wants your question featured on our show, please make sure to email yours to info at keandrajackson.com and your potential question can end up on an upcoming episode. So to be honest with you, I firmly believe that there are three levels of accountability that every single person should have. And if you are someone who does not agree with this, I completely understand, but at least I want you to put it in your back pocket because this information may be helpful to you later on. The first level of accountability that you should have probably in this order is accountability to God. And I know I just lost some of y'all right there, but if you are a person of faith, whether you believe in the universe, or whoever, you need to understand that there is a higher power that you have to submit to. For me, it's God, it's Jesus, okay? So he put desires, goals, wants, needs, hobbies, likes, dislikes, and purpose on the inside of me. And if he put all of those things on the inside of me, it was for a reason. It wasn't just for me to do whatever I wanted to do if those things did not align with his. So the most important thing that you can do while you're living here on this earth is to align your purpose and your will with God and how he wants you to handle things. Because if you're doing the opposite, then that means you're not being held accountable to him. Because remember, accountability is the obligation and the willingness to accept and take responsibility. So if you have gotten off course in your life, if you feel like, oh, God wanted me to be a doctor and I'm working at Taco Bell and I probably need to figure out how to do that, do whatever you need to do to make sure you're getting back on track with your life. So making sure that you are accountable to God first and foremost, is probably one of the most important things that I can give before we move on to number two. The second level of accountability that you need to have is for yourself and with yourself, making sure that you are accountable to and with yourself is so important. We, as I mentioned before, have all of these desires, wants, needs, goals, hobbies, all of the things that I already mentioned in number one. We have those on the inside of us and we also have some things that we need to fulfill here on the earth. That means you have to be accountable to yourself. So if you set goals to accomplish something, to do something, to create that next level in your life, whether that's for you individually, for your family, or for the next generation, you have to implement a plan and a strategy to get those things done. And if you are finding that you don't, and if you are finding that you can't, and you need that extra motivation, this is going to lead us to the third thing, which happens to be accountability with other people. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. I need to break this down into three different levels. So the first level with being accountable to other people is making sure that you're accountable to somebody that's on your same level. Okay, we all have friends and family members or even colleagues where they are going through something similar as us. They may be going through a loss or a death. They may just got a new job. They may just gotten married. They may also be pregnant. There's so many different things that we can relate to, to someone else who is going through the same things we're going through and who is acting and doing the same things we are doing at the same time in our life. Our lives are kind of parallel. I think you should be accountable to that person because they understand you. They get it, right? Like there's some relatability there and it makes you feel like, whew, I'm not going through all of this alone. There's somebody on this road and on this journey with me who knows what I'm going through, who feels how I'm feeling and could relate to me as I am going through the ups, downs and the roller coasters of my own individual journey. The second level within being accountable to others is being accountable to somebody that's on a higher level than you. We all have people that's just like, 
you know, I'm here and they here, whether that's financially, mentally, spiritually, physically, relationally, whatever. We have people in our lives that are on a higher level than us and that are on a completely different path. I believe you should be accountable to someone like that because it teaches you how to grow. It stretches you. It encourages you to keep going. It gives you something to strive for and to strive to. And the beautiful part about that is that it helps you not to be stagnant. You can see where you're going because that person has already probably been in your shoes. Not like the first person where we're on the same level, but that person has been in your shoes already so they can offer you advice they can offer you support and you could just really allow yourself to kind of have like a mentor kind of have like a guide or kind of have someone who's going to help you on the journey and give you the tools that they use in order to make sure that they got to the next level successfully and they're going to help you get there too the third level of accountability under the other that I want to talk to you guys about is relating to somebody who is on a lower level than you once again, we always have someone in our lives where they may not be where we're at, right? They may be younger, they may even be older, but have had some setbacks in their lives. They're just not where we currently are. It isn't to poo-poo on them because their journey is their journey, but it does allow us to give back. Sometimes we get to a place we get to a status where we have prayed for, where we have wanted, and we are here and we're just like, whoa, let's just go to the next level. But we forget about the people who's coming up behind us. We forget about the people who are still on that journey. We forget about giving back. And I'm not just talking about volunteering or, you know, donating your time, but I'm also talking about your resources. I'm also talking about your knowledge and your expertise. I'm also talking about just sharing what you went through because sometimes hearing somebody else who have went through what you went through when you are in the thick of things is so encouraging. But what it does, it creates this ripple effect. Okay, the person who's on a higher level is pouring back into me. Now I'm pouring back into the person that's on a lower level and then they're gonna pour back to the next person as well. So it's this beautiful cyclical uh, journey of us giving back to other people so we won't feel like we're alone on this journey called life. So I wanna give my final thoughts on this because it's a wrap. So to the person who wrote in this anonymous question, I really do appreciate you for your honesty. And I hope the three tips that I provided in this video can be helpful to you. I think I'm going to do a part two where we can go a little bit deeper on this, but I just wanted to share those three, which is God, yourself and other people and how you can be accountable on multiple different levels, depending on where you're at in your journey. So make sure to like, to comment, to subscribe, and to share this video with somebody else who hasn't been on their A game when it comes to accountability. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show, and I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.